Taito. Now there's a name I haven't heard for quite a while. Interesting. So, hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This time on the examination block, we have Chaos Break, which is a game that I've never heard of before. Uh, it was recommended by... I can't remember exactly who brought it up. I think the game's librarian in the Discord. Um, so it's a survival horror game for the PlayStation 1 so that immediately has me interested now I think what we're going to do is just pause the emulation there we go so yeah I've never heard of this game before apparently it's a sequel or something um, so Chaos Break is a third person shooter survival horror game developed by Taito and released for the Sony PlayStation in 2000 so it's quite a late release uh, which makes sense when you look at the quality of that FMV in the beginning. Very good stuff. Uh, it's the sequel to the 1998 arcade game Chaos Heat. The game's plot revolves around an abandoned, contaminated biochemical laboratory on an isolated island. I see. Players take on the roles of DEF agents Mizuki and Rick, who are sent to investigate the facility retrieve research data and uncover the cause of an anonymous thermal reaction. Hey, this kind of sounds a little bit, and I do mean a little bit, similar to Blue Stinger. So the game progresses by defeating enemies, which include alien parasitic life forms, mutated staff members, and the laboratory's robotic security drones. Players collect level clearance pass cards, and data CDs to advance through the facility. An in-game 24-hour clock affects access to some doors, adding an element of strategy to gameplay. Chaos Break incorporates elements of survival horror and computer terminals where, staff, uh, where players can save their game and read emails that provide backstory about the facility staff before the outbreak. The game is known for blending action with survival horror elements, offering a unique experience that differs from traditional hardcore survival horror games. Chaos Break stands out for its combination of intense action and survival horror, set against the backdrop of a mysterious and dangerous laboratory environment. Well, alrighty then. So, as I said, never heard of this game before. Definitely looking forward to... Uh, Giving it a go, giving it a shake, because it's always a good time when you discover a survival horror game from the original PlayStation generation. Uh, having said that, it does sound like this is going to be something a little bit different. Um, some sort of 24-hour timer thing going on as well. Not really sure how that's going to work. Um, robot enemies as well. So we've got like parasites, we've got mutants, we've got robots. Huh. Interesting. Well, I suppose we better get into it. So it's a third person shooter survival horror. Well, ain't that a mouthful? Anyway, let's dive in and uh, have a little look, shall we? I can actually unpause and resume the emulation. There we go. So, we've got... Ooh. Ooh, I'm getting Resident Evil tingles. Especially with that uh, G-Virus looking eye right in the middle of the screen. Uh, very, very clean menu here, actually. Very nice stuff. Let's take a look at options. 
See if we have anything. Ooh, okay. So the title screen kind of looked quite cool. So we can have hard, easy, or normal. For the process of testing, we're just going to go normal. Button configuration might be a good view change. Movement. Reload. Evade. Oh, fuck me, evade. All right. Okay. Um, how do we get out of that? Did I just... I've just ruined everything, haven't I? Okay. <laughs> I've definitely, like, ruined the controls. Because I'm pretty sure one of these was supposed to be reload. Uh, although, to be honest with you, that is a very, very interesting um, configuration menu because it wasn't... Ah, reset. Oh, perfect. Is that everything reset? I have no idea if any of that actually works. So, yeah, that is a very interesting configuration menu. Um, not very often back then you could completely customize your controls like that. If you were extremely lucky, you may have had a couple of different um, configurations, but to actually be able to remap everything, pretty good stuff. Anyway, let's go. New game. Also, we get to pick our character. So she has the Muse MG light, I guess. So she's got like machine guns strapped to her arms, I guess. This is survival horror, right? And we're going in with machine guns. Awful looking machine guns strapped to her arms. All right. And <laughs> wait, Rick starts off with a freaking missile launcher. What? Uh, yeah, I mean, we're, I, I guess we're going to go with the guy with the missile launcher. Okay. Okay, I have questions. I have many questions. I'll go over the parameters of the operation. The facility which you will be in. Industries Research Laboratory Number Seven. It's a civilian research facility. We suspect that research taking place there is related to parasitic tissue, which was smuggled out of the National Health Research Laboratory. Infrared sensor data from surveillance satellites indicates a high probability that the facility has been contaminated by the parasitic tissue. <laughs> facility and retrieve the research data stored there if a contamination accident has occurred eliminate the cause at once we've lost contact with the def agent who infiltrated the facility two days ago be on your guard at all times that is all we will shortly be entering the airspace over the laboratory roger <laughs> okay <laughs> Crawl through the sewers. Uh, yeah, we can do that with my rocket launcher in tow. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not actually that intimidated by the enemies if I'm running around with a rocket launcher, to be honest. Oh. Visibility is lousy. They would. That was definitely a sentence. Which way should we go, Rick? <laughs> oh man. The control center should be northeast of here. There's no telling what we may run into. Be careful as you go. Oh, Roger. Roger. We have excellent voice acting as well. Uh yeah, dude, I don't want to alarm you, but I've got a freaking rocket launcher. So I guess that's reload. Fucking hell. Oh, wait. 
So it's like a laser cannon. All right, I wasn't expecting that, but still, whatever. Hey, do you hear something? Only the sound of my awesome laser weaponry. Oh, hi. What's this? Oh no! Retreat! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! It's a giant tentacle penis monster. Let's retreat. <laughs> oh, this is delicious. Oh, <laughs> he's hung over. Oh, still down in the sewer. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I, I, that. Rick, you okay? Oh my God. Larry. <laughs> Larry. I guess I'm alive. Jake? Is he with you? No. No. Oh. Where are you? I went in the sewer which had its security system deactivated. But there's something strange. What? <laughs> what? Well, yes. Why would there be an installation like this down in the sewers? <laughs> What is going on with our hair? Looks like we're wearing a hat. Hey, be careful. Yeah, I know. But huh? What is it? There's a plastic case. What the Larry, I'm coming. Tell me where you are. <laughs> Larry. No, Larry. We hardly knew him. Okay. Uh, Twas my brother he was. Okay, so the movement is very much directional based even with the analog stri stick, so that's fine. Um, yeah, the dialogue is wonderful. Larry, no! Is this the place that Larry was talking about? Well, it's the only door here, Rick, so I hope so. You can tell that Rick doesn't appear to be the brains of the operation, but that's fine. You don't need to be smart when you got a big gun, I guess. Walk softly. Oh, hello. What the hell? We got necromorphs. Ooh. Um. I, I couldn't tell you what happened there. So, we've got this evade button. One of these buttons actually reloads. Okay, so it's the... Oh, okay, that works surprisingly well. Alright. A lift. Is it a lift or is this supposed to be like one of those clean room things? Hmm. Ooh. Now, can we? Okay, I don't know how the evasion works. I'm guessing. Right, we probably don't want to keep throwing, like, firing those nuclear rockets around. So we've got melee. I'm sure one of these buttons was evade. Well, there goes the end of the uh, nuclear weapons. Right, okay. So I'm not... So... Can we fire? Okay, so you can fire and evade. Can you evade in different directions? No, you just kind of spin in the direction that you're standing. That's cool. It's locked. The key to the research annex is needed. All right. Well, I'm glad you know where you're going, lad. The buttons are kind of all over the place, so I've got to use the trigger to reload. Um, the square button is fire. L1 is ev evade. Okay, so it's one of these games where you have to kind of like crab claw the controller. But that's fine. <gasps> Where's Larry? Larry. 
was my brother. Ooh, um, electromagnetic key acquired. Well, that was awfully convenient. I don't know how that just, like, fell out of the sky, but we'll take it. Guess we can't examine. I'm guessing... Do we have, like, a search button or anything? We've got a reload button, which we can endlessly reload, which is a good, jolly good time. This game's definitely reminding me of Hard Edge or Trag depending on uh, where you're from. Hey, now we can actually come. Oh, hello. Hey, <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> Do you work here? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Oh, I can. What is this? Monster? Hey? Monster? You mean that snake thing? Snake? Uh, no. <laughs> what was the NGPs that? Escaped. Look, never mind that. Just help me. Are you with Furuxas? No, I'm not. I see. Uh, well, anyway, you're here to save us, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, then, hurry up and save me. All right already. Calm down. <laughs> you were saying something about a life form. What the hell happened here? Well... <laughs> What is this? Is that you, Rick? Jake! Are you all right? Where are you? I'm in the control center. Is Larry there? No. He's been killed. Oh. <laughs> Rick, come to the control center, would you? I've got some... <laughs> God, oh, God. <laughs> I'm heading back to the control center. Can you walk? Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> this is fantastic. <laughs> He's been killed. Oh. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. All right. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, we're kind of gyrating a little bit here. I like the way we're three times the size of this um, scientist guy. That's always a fun time. Oh, we've got multiple doors here. Um, oh, we have stuff. How do we pick up stuff? Search acquired. I don't know what a search is. Um, okay. How do we... There we go, life pack. Not a fan of that um, sound when we pick stuff up. That's kind of really obnoxious. Energy pack. Don't know what we need that for. Anyway, come on, my nerdy little friend. Let's keep exploring. I think we're... We almost look like a Spartan before it was cool. Okay, so I guess we're going like back out here. And it looks like we have some kind of new special weapon, I guess. Which we need to remember is on the uh, triangle button. This game is just unbelievably ridiculous. Oh! We've got fly things. I think there's kind of like a auto-lock-on system going on here. At least... Rick's trying to uh, target it anyway. Aha. Ooh, they're cool. They're like flying bodies. Now, unfortunately, we seem to be getting our ass kicked. I'm not convinced these guys are worth fighting. No, fuck it. Fuck it. Yeah, the fighting is... Com well... 
so far, anyway. The combat in this game is complete ass. So, that door back there looked like it was locked. Um. Okay, so we must release the level four security. So, I think our little nerdy friend there shit his pants, which is understandable. Okay. Well, that's a good camera angle. Ooh, hi. Ooh, this is... This is rough. I think the difficulty with this one is going to come from just the controls. I suppose we're going to have to get used to that kind of evade system that's going on here. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I, I, I don't like this weapon at all. <laughs> it, it does nothing. It's really poor. But it does appear that we have unlimited ammo. So that's something. Now, I don't know if our scientist friend can actually die. Oh, he's over there. He's just, like, sitting on the floor like Sherry. You out there, Chief? Is he dead? Have we actually lost the scientist guy? Or is he just, like, passed out for a while? This could be bad. No, I guess he's dead. Ah. How unfortunate. So, level 5 door. Can't access that. Saying that, we're kind of running around like we shit ourselves as well, so... I don't know what to think about this one, guys. I'm going to be honest. Ooh, so many different types of enemies. I do wonder if it's the sort of game where you're supposed to just run past everything. But the thing is, we have a hell of a, oh, these camera angles. Ooh, oh, I see. So you can center camera behind you. Alright, let's try this door. Because we are rapid. Ooh, what the hell is that? Oh, we've got more robots. Okay. The robots actually seem to go down pretty quickly. So I don't know what these searches are. I fired one and it just Okay, so I guess that's kind of like a homing rocket type dealio. I see. Alright. So, yeah, we have an absolute butt ton of uh, different enemies, which is interesting. Not sure what I th think of the overall audio design, which seems to be pretty bad. Ah, look. So we do actually run out of ammo, I guess. So that's what we need the energy packs for. Kind of makes sense. So I guess we're supposed to be more or less avoiding combat where we can. So we can interact with this one. Electrical supply system condition wrong. Well, that's good. Uh, okay, I'm guessing we've got to try and get it so it's not wrong, maybe? Uh, okay, so... Right, I see how this works. So that's going to take it up to minus three. 
If we take it up to that, it's minus one. Right, I got you. So let's put that onto mine. Or oh. no, we can't actually turn it off, which is curious. So we need to be getting some pluses now. I guess that will be minus six. Now we're on plus four. Can we minus? Oh, that brings us up to one. Um, ah, oh, we're close. We're close. We are so close right now. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. We just need a plus two. Oh, I suppose if we go down to that. Can we have one more point? If we can get one more. All right, that gives us like plus uh, minus 21. So we can get a plus two, plus six, and a plus seven. Ah, right, okay. This could take some time. Ah, oh, we're still stuck on one. Maybe there's something here. That we're not quite noticing. Because I really want to get rid of that one. And my headset has just died. One second. Ah, there we go. Just had to think about it. So we're now on zero. Good. I was wondering if that's actually what we were supposed to do for a minute. So data, save, mail. About rats. Did you hear about the rat? Listen, we've already got some someone infected. Head office may be planning on abandoning us. Uh, call you when I've got the details. Well, that doesn't sound good. Alright. Uh, anybody who confirms a large rat changing its body co color, oof, please report immediately. Man department. Okay. I don't want to go to the man department. Power supply in the storage area is very unstable. I think it's because of that pool. Can't you increase the supply somehow? Please have a think about it. I'll think about it. It can't be suppressed anymore. The change in the culture was far beyond our expectations. Escape now. All right. I guess there's nothing in the trash. I don't really care about saving the game, I'll be honest. So, those computers do appear to be like your little save room type areas, but Enemies do apparently persist in these areas. Uh, wait, did we just come through a level 4 door? Yes. So we have access to level 4 doors, apparently. I guess good to know. Now, do we actually have a map? Yeah, we do, actually. Surprisingly so. Alright. Cool. Oh, hi. You know what? It's probably... Oh, security is not... But anyway, I'm confused. So, we can go through some level 4 doors, I guess. But not all of them. Alright. Oh, is that... A... That is not a chicken. No. Get off me. Well... I guess the uh, melee attack is somewhat super effective. Right, so we can actually have over 150 energy. 
That's also pretty nice. Data disk. Don't know what we're doing with all these data disks, to be honest. I guess we're just sticking them in our pocket. For good. Oh, hello. A xenomorph freak. So it looks like the melee is actually super effective. Ah, oh, can we use all of these computers? The line is not connected. Level 2 security passcode can be entered from this terminal. But you have to find the passcode. Alright. That's fine. There's a lot of data disks. Can we is there any way we can find out what these do? Um Do you want to use it? I mean I guess we could use the health. Probably not a terrible idea. Uh unless data disks are used for saving the game, perhaps. Vibration Okay. Alright. Come on, Rick. Now we've got some more health. Wow, that is a that is definitely a camera angle. Can we duff this thing up? Yeah. Yeah, we can. Quite well as well, to be honest. Man, I must have been a bit premature using my uh, laser cannon on these things when it's obviously not that needed. All right. Ooh. Damn, you son of a bitch. Yeah, so these guys, you can just get behind them and then just smash them around. It's obviously where I've been going wrong. There's nothing here. That's interesting. So you can search all of these and nothing happens. But as soon as you search that one, there's nothing here. Ha. Huh. You cannot use this terminal. I wasn't trying to use the terminal. I was trying to pick up the energy. Ah, I can hear Gribblies. Oh, there we go. We can kick an ass or two. Oh, God. Hello. That looks a little bit awkward. A note paper acquired. Okay. What do we do with a note paper? Can we read it? It says swarm. Alright, I'm guessing that's a password. Is it a password for this one? Uh, data save. We recommend you keep a record of your moments so as not to waste your work you've done, especially before dangerous operations. Oof. Each area should have a terminal for records. Well, we've actually found a lot of these. Drink. I left my drink in the meeting room. I'm sorry, but could you remove it when it's time to use it? It's from a hard... It's a hard job to get there from here. I mean, that nearly made sense. What was the passcode for the level 2 security? It's confusing when they keep changing it all the time. I wonder if it's something to do with that mouse. So, not swarm then? How is it going with the AP? Yesterday, an infected rat was roaming around as well. You've got people already infected, haven't you? Be quick. What? Who? Alright. Come on, that's enough. Are you going to stand by and watch us die? It's been two people this week. There's still time. Do something now. Yeah, so... This obviously... Um... Didn't exactly have the highest translation budget. But I suppose... You know, there was an attempt made somewhere by someone. Alright. So, we have a code now, Swarm. So if we can find that terminal, wherever that was, I think it was this one. Let's see if we can now, Im oh, disk acquired. Let's see if we can use, the line is not connected. All right, so I guess we need to connect the line somehow. I don't even know how we'd go about doing that. Well, you know what, guys? There's, like, 
I think we've given this one a good shake. Um, maybe not as the sort of shake it deserves, but uh, this is a game that I would definitely rather play a little bit more of um, off camera and kind of learn the mechanics, learn how it works a little bit more. Uh, first impressions of this one are not that fantastic even um you know in the context of the, you know when it came out and stuff uh i i'm not getting any kind of survival horror from this like in the slightest this to me almost just feels like a beat em up if anybody remembers dynamite cop on the uh dreamcast it that's kind of what this is this this sort of vibes i'm getting from this game um <sighs> trying to think if this is something that I would actually play I don't know uh, I don't really like the art direction um, I have enjoyed the dialogue there's no denying that the combat is just garbo however I'm going to put that down to the fact that I was trying to use the gun that they gave us which apparently seems to be not the way to play this game this way this game seems to be run up and hit stuff uh, not sure if we're gonna get like extra weapons oh right hang on sub cartridge right search self explodes after t yeah so this was not written really by anyone that actually spoke English um, so I don't know if we can change these out maybe because I don't have a sub cartridge but I guess we can get a larger magazine um, and that's how much energy we have I suppose now the fact that we've got a timer ticking up there I wonder if that is what the game uses to unlock certain doors if so that's interesting um, I do vaguely remember hearing ages ago about I think to get like the best I think to get the best endings the game is all based around time uh, it's not necessarily how you play the game or the choices you make you've just got to complete it within two hours or something like that which is interesting but then I suppose that you know again it's one of those games that you're supposed to replay and learn routes and things and of course there's an entirely different character as well who I'm pretty sure probably plays differently maybe I guess um, yeah bit of a weird one this I can kind of see why it's been forgotten to the sands of time anyway guys leave me your thoughts down below and I'll see you in the next video